Hi, all the speaker edits out there. We're here at Dam 2015 with Jerry from Eminence. Uh, and Jerry, what can you tell us about Eminence? Uh, Eminence has been in business since 1966, uh, making OEM speakers for uh, customers, and, and we also make speakers for the, uh, the public in our uh, catalog for users. Uh, so you have some uh, subwoofers that are a version of existing woofers? Right, the uh, Definimax family uh, was really popular with the 18LF. Uh, we had an 1815 uh, uh, low frequency model, but it wasn't an ultra low frequency model. So we decided to come out with a ultra low frequency 15 and a 12. And uh, we used the same motor off the 18LF. Uh, They're okay. right over here. On the 12 inch, we went with a, a heavier cone, and again, we used the motor off the 18. Very high BL factor. Uh, it's very good for horn loading uh, in uh, on various sundry types of horns, the more modern type of horns. Uh, the uh, 15, uh, we used the same cone as the LF because it was already heavy duty. Uh, didn't really need any more strength, but we used the 18 inch motor, four layer coil. Still has the shorting rings. Uh, we changed the uh, adhesive for the uh, apex joints, and now they're ready to 1,200 watts. And uh, they really, they really sound good, and, and really punchy sounding. Okay. And as far as efficiency, did they affect the efficiency, or they're they're a little bit lower in efficiency than the LF models uh -huh. because they're meant to work in very small boxes and play very low. So the trade-off is there that you need to lower the sensitivity. We did that by adding the moving, increasing the moving mass and uh, going to the four layer coils, kept the BL product very high and added the mass. Okay, so you have these guys over here, right? You want to yeah. test with this? Uh, a little five inch mid ranges. We've got two different varieties. We've got, this one's more of a mid woofer. It's a ceramic motor. It can play down to about a hundred Hertz. This is what you're going to use on a lot of your sticks, a lot of your column arrays. Uh, it's going to be very popular there. You'll need to pair it up with a tweeter uh, to do the high end because it only plays up to about 7K, but they sound phenomenal in a, in a small little array. And over here we've got the Neo version. The Neo version is more of a mid range. It's made to go only 300 hertz and up, and it's going to be used more in uh, bass guitar rigs. Uh, for the guys that want the, the, the more sparkle on top, but they don't want the piercing sound of a of a horn. This one's available in Neo. This one's ceramic. Uh, those will be available in April. You have uh, new drivers as well. It's the yes, we have two really exciting new compression drivers. We've got the 1.4 inch exit Neo compression driver. Got a three-inch voice coil, and it's uh, it'll be available in April. And we also have it in two-inch exit, three-inch voice coil. They're both titanium. Uh, they both sound phenomenal. Uh, they have our new technology. It's a damp diaphragm technology that we're that we've developed in-house. Uh, Gives it a very smooth sound, very linear response, very easy to work with. Uh, that's the thing that we were shooting for. There's no big dips, no big peaks, very extended, very easy to work with. A lot of our low frequency woofers, we've had a lot of requests to make them in 4 0. So we've added all the Kappa Light models, all the LF models are all going to be available as stock items as 4 0. The Sigma Pro 18, we're going to make it available in 4 0 right off the shelf. Certain of the uh, Delta light models, the 10 inch will be available as a 4 ohm for the guys that want to do their 410 bass guitar rigs and have we can get back to 4 ohms for the cabinet. Uh, and there you have it. Thank you very much. Like us, subscribe, watch more videos. Have a very good day.